What is your pet's annoying but lovable habit? He barks at me when I sneeze. No, not from across the room. Whether he's in a dead sleep or eating, he'll run from his position and bark as loud as he can manage at me, inches from my face. And only inside. And only me. I have tried to show and explain to him that I don't bark at him when he sneezes, so he shouldn't bark at me when I sneeze. My cat prefers to drink from the sink, hates fountains, I've tried, which is super cute, except when she does it in the wee hours of morning and she won't stop yelling at me until I get out of bed to turn it on. Then I have to watch her drink until she's done. Fucking brat, I love her to pieces. Mine will only drink from coffee, mugs so we replaced her bowl with an old one. I know cats prefer drinking water they know is fresh, that's why so many of them prefer drinking from faucets, but I have no idea why a cat would insist on using a coffee mug. Seems like it would be harder on their whiskers to do that. My dog used to piss when people came to the door cause he was so excited, but he grew out of the habit. I bet the day he stopped was one of the happiest days of your life. I'm sure it's right up there with your wedding and the birth of your firstborn. For some weird reason my cat loved earwax. Before he died I would get woken up by this horrible feeling of him jamming his tongue in my ear and I have never felt more violated and when I would pull the quilt up over my head he would tap me and try to get under the covers for seconds. Just for the record I do clean my ears, but there is always going to be some left of residue laughing out loud. My cat used to wake me up by trying her hardest to put her nose up my nose. And yeah, it sounds kind of cute, but feels super invasive. Nothing like waking up with a weight on your chest and something cold and wet shoving its way into your nostril. Now she just gives me a headbutt before nuzzling me with wild abandon. Which is pretty alright as far as alarms go. My cat yells at me while I fix his breakfast. I'm standing there putting canned food in his bowl and I wish I could say it's meowing. But he yells like when you hear a little spoiled brat yelling at their mom about a toy. And the whole time he's standing there making floor biscuits with all four feet. My cat does this too, minus the biscuits. He stands on his hind legs with his front paws on my leg and yells at me. I've never seen it from another cat. Mine stands and does that when he wants me to pick him up. His eyes will go all crazy and he'll just yell, like you both said, until I pick him up for at least a few minutes. In the mornings, boy kitten will get out of my room at warm bed to follow me through the cold wood floors and into the even colder bathroom just to sit on my lap on the toilet while I do my business. Cat law says I can't get up until he does, so then I usually run behind on my schedule laughing out loud. Is he guarding me? Older female cat does similar at night, but just stands gored at the door and growls at the other cats when they walk by. My parents used to have these mushroom sculptures made of clay in our living room. If my dog, Walter, wanted attention while we were watching TV, he would knock one of the mushrooms over and stare intently at us. My parents had to remove the sculptures. He is 12 now and still very stubborn about wanting attention. My cat likes to make a big production over taking a poop. She meows, circles inside the litter box and eggs a little bit here and there until she finds just the right location and then afterwards she likes to parade out confidently and meow to bring my attention to the fact that her mission has been accomplished. My cat only wants to be petted at a few inches further than my arms can reach. When I try to get closer, she leaves the room. My other cat will randomly go from being petted to trying to turn my hand into ribbons and confetti. Is your other cat getting overstimulated? It's typically the most common reason they change. They want the petting to stop so when you don't stop they attack. If you watch you might be able to notice signs of when it's happening, tail twitching or body tensed. But not every cat is obvious about it. Our 7 month old dog gets bored sometime during the night or early morning while we are asleep and will complain about it by letting out the most adorable howl. He does it often enough 
that his nickname is Ruru. My dog greets us with a certain bark slash howl, so his nickname is a woo because of it. My cat will stick her face in any open cup of water to drink from it. Doesn't matter if the cup is literally in your hand and you're about to take a drink she will stick her face in there. My cat's doing this is why I can't drink out of cups anymore. If it isn't a bottle or something with a lid I can't drink out of it. In the process of learning this lesson I also learned that one of my cats likes coffee but does not like tea and the other cat likes tea but does not like coffee. One of my six cats loves straws. At home we use stainless steel ones, but any time a fast food fountain drink comes in the house and it has a plastic or paper one, you can guarantee that the cup will be knocked over, its contents over everything, and my cat batting around the straw like it's a mouse being hunted. The lovable part? She likes to play fetch with it and when done, will hide it. We've uncovered a lot of straw hoards, and it's like bringing out her favorite toy all over again. My dog is really good at letting us know it's time for him to go out and poop. Unfortunately, he's gotten the timing down to a minute before it comes out of him. Cue this morning, where I'm just exiting the shower and I couldn't pull on clothes fast enough before he pooped in the house. My cat, he hides my lighters. I don't smoke in the house, but they are often laying about and they all end up under the sofa mayo. My cat hides my bobby pins, pens, and random knickknacks under the sofa too. Nice. He literally only hides lighters. Not my drawing stuff. I can leave pens out all over the place, and they are not touched. Won't knock other things off my desk, but will take my lighters and put them in their little hidde hole. I once found seven under there. My dog likes to bury his bones. When he's inside, he'll bury them in couches. I discovered this when I realized he was going through bones suspiciously quick and was concerned he was swallowing them. Then I found 9 bones scattered throughout my couch. Mine too. She doesn't even chew on them anymore. She just takes them right to a hiding place. Weirdos. I have two cats. One of them, named Kitkat, has this habit of immediately jumping onto chairs that people were using as soon as they leave it. If we are trying to eat dinner and one of us leaves to get a glass of water, she will immediately take their seat. One of my cats does this too. Couch, chair, my spot in bed, and she'll splay out as much as possible, so I can't even sit next to her. My cats do the same thing in the winter time. They need that butt warmth. So I have pet rats and normally, when I have them out I just roll the cage over to the couch and open the doors, so they can hang out, while I lay on the couch and watch stuff on the laptop I have set up right next to the couch. My boys are really good about staying on the couch, so I don't worry about getting up to go to the bathroom with them out, but one of my boys is obsessed with cuddles and not happy if I get up. He's figured out that if he walks on the laptop keyboard he can make sounds which summon me pretty quick. Also if I'm not petting him enough trying to chew on my phone slash switch case will get him immediate attention. He's so sweet though. My other two boys are more food motivated. He's very pet motivated. It's so nice just to lay on the couch just to cuddle with my sweet rat boys after a long day at work. He steals things for attention. I have a cocker spaniel named Murray. He's still a puppy and being trained. One bad habit he has is stealing random things from me and then hiding under the bed with them. He's like a little dragon hoarding treasure. Things he has stolen from me include socks, hair barbels, bras, dungeons, and dragon dice, hair brushes, plastic bottles from the recycling, and one time he took my Animal Crossing game case with the game inside. My dog Bella is an attention whore, and when I'm doing online classes she likes to throw herself on me and try to see what's going on. My dog loved chicken. We have a big backyard, and oftentimes he'd go out just to get me to say I'll give him chicken if he came back inside. He'd run down and immediately go towards our fridge. He was a smart asshole, and I miss him dearly. 
I have a very spoiled and dramatic cat. I take full responsibility for this because he is so damn cute and he knows it. When he gets hungry and it isn't time to feed him, yet he will start yelling at me. But when that doesn't work he will start licking and chewing the plastic packaging on the paper towels to dramatize how he is absolutely starving and will eat anything. To top it off, once I do feed him, he will take a few bites and then walk away. My old cat has been begging for everything I eat lately. Doesn't matter what it is, she will bore and beg until I give her, her a bite. I do realize that a lot of foods can be harmful to her, so she doesn't get everything.